I speak unto thee this day, and I say when men will cease listening to me, that is, stop up their ears, shut off their understanding because they want their own way, I say they come under the Jezebel domain of hatred for truth. For I say, when any will stop paying heed unto me and obeying me, then I say they take up a way that is hatred for my truth and my light, and the way that I lead and I guide. And I say they invent their own way, they go after their own understanding, and I say they are made dull and dumb in the same. Then I say they become as brute beasts, following only the lust of their flesh, and pursue the course of the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called my people to be ruled by demons, yet I say when they stop listening to me, that is exactly what they become. That is, they become the subject of demons, they obey demons rather than me. And I say it is because they have estranged themselves by a lust for the world and the vanities of the same, by a desire to have their own way. But I say the very way that they think they have is nothing but death to their souls and damnation of the same. And I say when they are indeed pursuing a course that I did not set before them, I say that their labors are in vain because they labor for the God of self. And I say they are under the Jezebel covering of madness and hatred for truth. And I say they are subject to the rebellion of the same. And I say they estrange themselves, go occurring and end in a keep of despair, because they stop listening to me. And I say they took the, to themselves the mind of carnality, the mind of demons, rather than the mind of my spirit. Now I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed calling down the Jezebelian reign, and I say that the same shall be brought to death. And I say that the ones who have chosen to be under that reign, that rule, I say they are subject to the same death. And I say they are choosing a course of way that is far from me, and I say they will be directed in lies. And I say they are choosing destruction, devastation, and damnation of soul. I say this day do not cease listening and obeying me that is hearken unto me, and obey the commands that I give unto my own. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, lead, and guide the people who will pay heed unto me. But I say that the ones who cease to obey, who quit hearing me and live to hear demons, I say they are literally dying in the same. For I say they are choosing the way of death, the way of decay, the way of destruction. I say this day that I, the living God, have declared my war against humankind, and I say it is because they will not listen to me. But I say because they are drunk on pride and full of the stubbornness of their own way, I say they go in a course that will prove to be destruction of soul. And I say all the while, while they are so wise in their own conceit, vainly puffed up, I say they are headed in despair. And I say they have taken the road that will prove to be emptiness, futility, and damnation of soul. I say this day do not go in a way that will damn your soul, do not go in a way that will prove to be destructive, but I say come forth in my way. For I say that the way that I offer, the way that I give, is the way of life eternal for all who will listen unto me. Now I say, when you consider the nations that have forgotten me, have ceased to listen to me, refuse to obey me, where do they end? I say they end in the heap of destruction, despair, and of course they are destroyed. I say this day how foolish men are to think they can manage in this life without listening to me. That is, to think they can easily cast me off, turn aside from me, and go in their own way. For I say, such fools as these are taken in that which will prove to be emptiness, futility, and despair. And I say, such fools as these are taken far from the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. Now I say, this day be thankful that I am the one who will give to you the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope day by day. And I say, be thankful that I am the one who will ever direct you in that which I purpose time and again. For I say that I purpose you to live, to abide, to come forth in me day after day. And I say that I purpose you to be ever guided forth in the truth, the light, the mercy, the blessedness revealed. 
Now I say this day you'd be glad for the privilege to believe me, to trust me, and obey me day after day. And I say be thankful that I will direct, correct, and bring you forth. I say be thankful that I will give to you the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope revealed time and again. For I say it is in me that you are directed and brought forth. And I say it is in me that you are guided, for I will guide you in the merciful way that is found in me. But I say that the ones who are headstrong and proving that they are right when they are wrong are proving nothing at all, except their own stupidity and the way they have turned to hate my truth rather than love the same. And I say they have accepted the witchcraft rule of the Jezebel reign, and I say in the same they are taken down. And I say they will end as their queen that is in death and destruction. For I say that I, the living God, do not call my people to be whorishly contending against me and going in the way of darkness, the way of fools. Yet I say when they choose that way because they are drunk on pride, they are sure what they have chosen is the way of their life. But I say that the truth of it is the way that they choose is the way they lose. For I say they go in the way that I did not intend or provide, and I say they choose to do so in order to be devoured. I say this day when you look how utterly stupid men and women are in all of their devices, I say they end in a key. That is, they end estranged, they end far from me, and they end in despair. And I say, when they are choosing that way, they are choosing a course that will prove to be utter wretchedness unto them. And I say, they are choosing the darkness, they are choosing the evil, the iniquity of the saint. I say, this day, when I, the living God, do give to you the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope, I say, walk in the same. And I say, when I give to you exactly what you need, then I say that you can be uplifted in me. That is, you can be brought forth, ever guided, directed, and given the truth of who I am. And I say that you can rejoice that I will guide you in light. Now I say, be thankful even now to look unto me, to believe me, to trust me, and desire me day after day. And I say, be thankful even now to be shown that it is me that you can believe, obey, and follow after. For I say, in me is bound exactly what you need, exactly the way you are to walk the straight and the narrow way. And I say, in me you will find that you are uplifted each day. Therefore I say, this day be glad to believe, to trust, to obey me, and be brought forth in me day after day. And I say, be thankful that I purpose you to live, to abide, and be brought forth in me. For I say, when you are serving in the attitude of gratitude, when you will indeed listen to me, then I say you are counted worthy of me. But I say that the ones who refuse to listen have put themselves in the darkness, the evil, the iniquity, and they go another way. And I say they go in the way of those who are invoking and inviting my wrath upon them rather than my mercy revealed. Now I say it is me, the living God, who is giving the call throughout the earth for all men everywhere to repent. That means to turn from darkness, to turn from evil and walk in my way, and to be uplifted, directed, and ever guided and given the hope of who I am, to be ever strengthened because it is me, the living God, who will give my mercy, my strength, my truth unto my own. Now I say this day the world is full of liars and deceivers and those who seek to destroy the just. But I say it is me, the living God, who is bringing down the hatred, the murderous intent that has covered the land. And I say it is me, the living God, who intends to restore my life, my truth, and my mercy unto all who will cry out and long for me. For I say that the ones who long to be delivered from the sentence of death and destruction, I say they may walk in my way. For I say it is me, the living God, who will be ever present to give to them the same, to direct them and bring them forth. And it is me, the living God, who will be ever present to show that I am indeed well able. That is, I'm able to show mercy and truth and life and strength and hope day after day. And I say that I'm able to guide the ones who believe me and trust me in the way of eternal life. 
I say, be thankful even now that you can look to me, believe upon me, and be guided by me day after day. For I say, when you are accepting my way, you are accepting the life eternal. But I say to the ones who stop listening unto me, coming under the Jezebel rule of hatred for truth and desire to murder the same, I say they will go in the course that is destruction. And I say for all of their pride, their wise conceit, their contempt and disrespect towards me, I say they are nothing but utter fools. I say this day that I, the living God, never called you to go in the way of fools and likewise be overwhelmed. But I say that I've called you to be uplifted, guided, directed, and corrected in the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy revealed. For I say it is me, the living God alone, who is able to bring forth my own time and again. And it is me, the living God, who is able to direct, correct, and instruct the ones who listen to me. But I say that the ones who have grown so proud, defiant, and rebellious, I say they end in a keep through its same. For I say that woe is the cup of those who turn aside from me, take up other lovers, other gods, and pursue the course of their lust. For I say in their so-called desire for their own way, I say they go in the way of demons. And I say they rule, they are ruled by demons day after day because they have rejected my rule. I say this day be thankful to trust me, to believe me, and obey me, and see what it is that I do. For I say, when I the living God do give my declaration, my timing, I say, obey the same. And I say, when I the living God do guide you forth by a plain path, I say, walk ye in the truth each day. For I say, it is in me that the truth is found and maintained. It is to me that the light is given. It is to me that my own shall be kept day after day. But I say that the ones who have refused to listen to me, who have turned aside, who have gone a whoring, I say they end in the heap they have chosen to serve. That is, they have chosen to serve deceit, they have chosen to serve conjecture and falsehood and even lies. And I say they have chosen to serve the iniquity that I, the living God, did not intend for my own. And I say for all of their choosing, they are losing out each day with me. I say this day do not choose any other way than the way that I give you, and I say pay heed unto me. For I say if you will indeed pay heed to my instruction, you are made wise. But I say for the ones who have been in my way to take up the way of their own deception, no, they are living as fools. And I say in their foolery they are taught nothing at all because they will not listen nor obey. But I say they go in the way that will prove to be total emptiness, futility, and despair of soul. I say thank me and praise me for the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope of who I am, that you can be guided, directed, corrected, and ever instructed in me. The author, the finisher, the beginning and the end, the one who does care for your souls.